What is up guys, in today's video we have the first Inside the Mind style video of Fortnite Chapter 4. If you guys are new here, this is a video series where I walk you through my thoughts and decisions as I play in Fortnite Zero Build, basically explaining everything I do and why over the course of the game. As always, if you guys do find this video helpful and informative, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you like to see more, and comment down below where your favorite place to land so far in Season 4 is. In this game, I'm going to be going faulty splits. This has probably been my favorite POI in Chapter 4 thus far. It's just, I don't know, I like the flow of the POI. There's several oath-bound chests here, which have really high potential for hammers. There's one at the building I've marked, there's one at that building, there's one at that building, and I think there's one, like, uh, over there somewhere, maybe that building. Um, there's also a fair amount of chug splashes here, or coolers that can give you chug splashes. So that's not really going to matter this game because it's the gold spot. And with these gold locations, the drones drop double heals, so you have really really good chances of getting chug splashes from them when you kill the drones but even if the drones weren't here we would have really good chances of getting chug splashes from this poi unfortunately we did not get an earthbound chest spawning on us this game there should be one in that building though um and then if worst case scenario we can go up to the building on the hill and hopefully get one that way just stinks when you don't get one and then the player next to you gets one and then they just like dip with it immediately and you don't even really get a chance to fight them that is not ideal nice i prefer the twin mag to the machine pistol prefer the tactical pistol to either but this will do for now and luckily we got the thunder shotgun instead of the maven i don't really care for the maven this season nice we luckily got a hammer that way um but i was saying i don't really care for the maven this season the auto shotty was really good last chapter for zero build but i think a lot of that was because of how bad the pumps were um whereas these are drones the thunder shotgun is really good Oh my gosh. We almost just died to an AI. That would not have been good. That was just like the worst timing ever for me because nothing was loaded. That's where pistol amp would have really mattered. Like pistol amp is a really good augment for this tactical pistol. Um, But it's not as important in solos, I feel like. Whereas like if you're playing team game modes, I feel like you really need it to make the pistol like super viable. There's a key here, which I would like to get. The keys are very... There we go. We get pistol amp. Nice. The keys are super... I don't know. They feel more rare to me this season. And like I was just saying, the pumps are so good that if we can get a high rarity pump from any of the hollow chests... That is nice. It's a big deal. What I was saying about the Maven is I just don't really think it's that good anymore. Like, I don't know. I, I feel like compared to the shotguns like of last chapter... The pumps got much better, and the spammy shotguns got worse. So that, like, difference between the two is quite large. I think. I knew this guy was capturing this thing, because the point makes an audio cue when you get on it. I don't know why this person decided to try to capture it. And then if we didn't get a hammer from either of our buildings here, we can go up here to this building. And there is an Oathbound chest that can spawn in that building over there. Oathbound chests are 70% spawn rate, so they're not guaranteed, but they're like pretty high chances. Um, and then let's just say, for example, that one didn't spawn and the one back here didn't spawn. This NPC here sells hammers, and then there's also two Oathbound chests spawn in that castle. So if I ever, for whatever reason, just am really unlucky and aren't able to get a hammer out of faulty splits... Then I go over there and get one over there. Like worst case scenario, it's 250 gold. But I, I think having mobility is very important this season. Like it's always been important for zero build. But this season I think especially so. Because if you don't have a hammer, like a lot of your kills are just going to get away from you. And with that slap juice there, it gives you unlimited sprint for a period of time. I feel like everybody knows that. But I still see some players just like completely ignoring it. So even if you don't necessarily need the heals... It's nice to drink it, just to have unlimited sprint for a period of time afterwards. Interesting play here. He got a hammer. Dang, gold pump. 
That man was using the present like it was a porta bunker. When I broke his thing out, we had right shoulder peak on him, so there's nothing he could really do. Like, that fight was just so good for me compared to him. He needed to, like, run out immediately. But he, like, let me have two, like, good right shoulder peak shots. I heard somebody hammer over here. As I said, we easily got max splashes and I didn't even bother killing the drones. I didn't even see the drones. But these gold locations are so nice. I am very happy they added these back. They initially had these gold locations in Season 9 of Chapter 1. Uh, but they, I think the loot pool that the drones could give you was like fairly limited and they didn't drop heals if I remember correctly. But now they have a chance to drop heals which is really nice. I don't know what this player is doing so I kind of want to get away from them. GG's. I feel like that is 100% of the time to play. If somebody's hammering onto you just randomly like that, just try to hammer away and restart the fight. I try not to hammer on people unless I have like good amounts of early damage. I said before how good these pumps are. Just 50 50 ing someone like that with no early damage, the fight can go either way. And what I wanted to talk about here was that I got the Splash Medic Augment. And with that, you get chug splashes potentially out of any container you open. So when I initially read that, I thought it was only chests, but it's anything toolboxes the vegetable baskets coolers um ammo boxes chests anything that you can open you can get splashes out of which is really insane because the coolers already have a chance to get splashes so if you get double splash spawn out of your cooler plus the splash medic spawn that's five chug splashes out of a single cooler but you have to physically open them it doesn't work if you break them so when you get splash medic it's very easy to stay topped up on splashes if you open things like, even if you look, like, I feel like a lot of people don't really pay attention to those vegetable baskets and houses. Because usually there isn't anything that high priority out of them. But when you have Splash Medic, just a random house can end up giving you so many splashes. If you combine, like, chests, vegetable baskets, coolers, toolboxes, ammo boxes. Like, a lot of houses actually have a fair amount of containers. The most annoying thing in Chapter 4 for me has to be... How large the hitboxes on these trees are. Like, there's a few shots there that just, like, got eaten by the tree, I guess. I don't really know what happened. I don't know if this guy that just pulled up in a car knows I'm here. Nice, we got storm mark. Such an overpowered augment. You get a storm ping every time zone hits. Oh, there we go. Dude, we just took so much damage there, I feel like. Way more than I should have. I'm going to be greedy here and try to save my splashes. I probably don't need to try to be greedy, though, because I do have splash medic. Fighting. I feel like all my stuff needs to be reloaded. I don't know if that player is still up here. What just happened here? This guy is a psychopath. That guy was like just trying to hammer everybody. Like he tried to dub onto me and then hammer me. This is chaos. I'm just trying to reposition in all these fights and then hopefully get better angles on this player. I said before, with like the strength of these pumps, I really don't like just like 50 50 people without damage. So I, I really want to start every fight with AR tags and like everything in my inventory needs to be reloaded, I felt like. So just like delaying that works out well for us. I was hoping to come here and get extra splashes that I'd left behind before, but it's just going to be the one. Did this guy have splashes? I don't remember. I think there was a cooler here I didn't open. 
Maybe if we're super lucky, we will get five out of this? Rip, we get none. There's a fair amount of coolers in this building, though. I just don't really know if I have time to loot it before that other player gets here, and I would like to... Um... I would like to get shots on them. They seemed like a decent player. Like, they were aggro, at least, and they, like, beamed me at one point. Nice, there we go. That was five out of one cooler. I told you it can happen. We went just from one five, uh, one from, ah. Uh, we went from one splash to five there. I can't talk. My brain is overwhelmed by the chug splashes. Like, Splash Medic, I feel like, is such an underrated augment. This is, like, the worst building to actually be set up on, though, because, like, the trees have such large hitboxes this season. And there's trees all right there, so I just, like, literally can't do anything to that player. We're gonna get a ping in eight seconds, though. If he's sitting in this bush... Oh, he's right here. That was bad. My shotgun didn't shoot. Like the second time. And with Storm Ping, I've kind of talked about this on stream before. How good it is. And I've had people be like, yeah, I never mark anybody with it though. And even if you don't mark anybody with it. That is, like, super valuable. Like, that means there's nobody around you, you know? Like, you normally wouldn't have that peace of mind. Like, you wouldn't know for sure, you know? But if it goes off... And it doesn't ping anybody, then you know there's nobody there. Luckily, we got rid of that player. He was going for, like, the Soaring Sprints... Shockwave Bow playstyle, I believe. Which is, like, pretty chaotic to deal with. But yeah, even just knowing that there aren't people there is, like, valuable. Because then you know where to, like, put your attention. And, like, endgame, just knowing that, like, there aren't people next to you could be so beneficial. I think, like, Stormmark, Forecast, and Splash Medic are all, like, ridiculously good. And the Pistol one is also really nice. Like, right now. Sure, we didn't ping anybody there. But, like, I know there's not anybody in any of those bushes now. And that's nice to know, you know? And if there was anybody there, we would have pinged them and then not been caught off guard by them in the future, potentially. And it just gets better as time goes on because as the zone gets smaller and smaller, you get to the point where you're just pinging everybody in zone. A lot of in-game just comes down to, like, process of elimination. And even knowing that there aren't people in a certain spot can kind of point you in the direction of where they are. I think the play is to do this. I think I already have a crown. Yeah. Three opponents remain. That's what I was talking about before about having early damage though. Like if I had no damage on him, I wouldn't just like shockwave onto him like that. And he had a gold pump as well. So he can hit me for 195. Like, it's just so random at that point, but with a red eye and just a few sm few shots, you can get such, like, a game-changing amount of damage. Like, I was a drone. Two opponents remaining. Thank you, GG's. There was more splashes on this guy's body. This is like kind of questionable behavior right now because there's not really any point in me shooting at this player. I'm not going to get any meaningful amount of damage most likely, you know? Bruh, this tree's getting me. But uh, he's not just going to stand there and let me kill him. Yeah, we need to stop taking that fight. Unfortunately.
It won't let me consume it, man. I wish that was switched. Like, on the plants that are planted like that, you have the option to either consume or gather. And gather is immediate and consume takes time. I wish it was the other way around. I'd rather consume be immediate. I was just trying to eat it quick so I could have unlimited sprint. It was like I was saying, like, I'm not going to get enough damage on this guy to, like, kill him. And I'm so far away that I'm not going to be able to push him off that damage either. So it's just not worth really shooting at him much. Like, if there was, like, six people left, though, I wouldn't be shooting at this guy. But, like, there's no one left. But when people are so far away like that, and, like, on high ground like that, like, it's hard to translate that damage into a kill. And with the overshield and zero build, I probably wasn't going to get um, any real damage on him. It was very, it would be very easy for him just to, like, back up and then make it to where I can't shoot him anymore. But now... We can have an actual fight. And the fact that this player was hard playing off the bow is going to, like, cost him more now than it would before. Those leave piles are so bad. It, like, it's so hard for somebody to exist there in a spot where you can't see them. Right now, we're just kind of griefing this guy's cover. He does have zone, but I think if we grief his cover, eventually we'll get to the point where we can push him. I'm not really sure what he's doing. He's just trying to get away and heal. I don't remember how much damage we hit him for exactly, but I had him so weak there that there's not really anything he can do. GG's. A little 19 kill game there. There's some drones. A decent amount of drones, but we also had some good fights at that gas station. Uh, that gas station was very chaotic, and that's just how this season can be. There's so many different, like, viable mobility options with the Shockwave Hammer, the Shockwave Bow, Dub, Soaring Sprints. One of those players at the gas station was using Dub... Soaring Sprint Shockwave. I don't really know what they were going for, but that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys found it helpful, informative, interesting. Got some interesting augment talk during that kind of described, especially the Splash Medic one kind of blew me away when I realized it was every single uh, container that you could open. But if you guys enjoyed this, give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.